Isabel is having a baby. Yes. Boy or girl. Let me get my name book out here so we know what we can name the child. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. This is so much work. It's a boy. All right, so my next boy name on the list is Axel. So that is what his name shall be. <gasps> I had twins! No way! What is up, guys? It's Ali. I'm here with episode 11 of the 100 Baby Challenge. We are back today, which is crazy. Um, as you know, in the last episode, we had a pretty crazy experience with Eric McGrath, and I'm so happy that man is gone now. Um, but yeah, we're back now, and we're playing the game, but I did want to make a little bit of an announcement. So, so many people across the interwebs and on YouTube have played the 100 Baby Challenge, and, you know, so it's kind of familiarized, everyone really knows about it, everyone, at least that is in the Sims community, so I kind of wanted to change it up a little bit and not play it the same anymore. So I'm actually adding a new thing to it that's going to change it up and probably make it a lot easier to complete this challenge. And that will be that every five babies um, born, you can adopt one child. And I think that's just really cool because it adds kind of new genetics to the mix. It will be adopting a baby, so it's going to be, you know, equally difficult to raise them. But so as soon as... Um, Isabel does have this baby right here. We're gonna go ahead and adopt another one. So they're gonna be similar in age and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of a new rule that I'm adding because I just feel like it'll be easier to complete the challenge that way. And everyone's already played it with the rules being the same. And so I kind of just wanted to change it up a little bit. So I hope you guys like that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's get started with episode 11. Alrighty here, so let's have, let's actually, Griffin is like super tired, so actually let's not have her do that right now. Let's have her read him to sleep. Anna, what are you doing? <laughs> You're supposed to be doing your extra credit work. Okay, Jesslyn is super tired, so I think I'm going to have her go to bed. I'll just have her clean this up. And then go to sleep. How's our little Jasper guy doing? Okay, his social is like so, so low right now. Whoa. You're supposed to read him to sleep. Please do that. <laughs> like now. Oh, Jesslyn's just not gonna clean up that stuff. Okay. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. I'm, I've been saying that a lot recently. <laughs> Which is funny, I never used to say that at all. And Isabel is pretty tired too. What trimester is she on? She is about to go into her second. She looks so big though. I don't know, maybe she's getting, uh, maybe she's getting a little thick. <laughs> I mean, she's had four kids, so that's a lot. Alright, I'm gonna have Anna clean these up. And then she can go to bed. I'm a little worried to press sleep now until she actually cleans it up because I don't want her to stop mid-cleaning up. I don't know why the Sims do that so much, but they do. Oh, I told you to uh, do more than that. But okay, you can go to sleep. So actually, let's just tell this guy here to... We'll just have him go take a shower and then he can go to bed too. Dun, dun, dun. All right, good job, Anna. You can go to sleep. Thank you so much. You're such a good daughter. And she's actually getting really close to uh, being a teenager. Three more days. Three more days. We can make it. And that's another rule that I decided to implement. I'm not. I can't remember what the rule was for um, aging up. But I've decided once they get to two days within the range of aging up, then I'm going to age them up. I know for sure that babies, they said you can age up whenever you want to, which I have been doing so far. But I feel like within two days, it'd probably be fine. 
Because that was generally when you, I mean, that's, it's close enough, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad opinion to have, but that's just what we're going to do. Alright, you guys, so I will be back as soon as everyone wakes up. Alright guys, it's kind of morning-ish, it's like 4.30 in the morning, but I'm just going to go ahead and have Isabel wake up because she does need to use the bathroom and um, also get something to eat. I just kind of want her to get a head start ahead of everyone else, which I feel like she hasn't had the chance to do in like a really long time, so I just feel like this would be probably the best. What? leftovers are left here how many omelets we've got four left and three left of the chicken sambaki so I'm actually gonna get this out for people to eat this morning cuz I don't want to have spoiled food cuz we can't afford to have spoiled food so I'm gonna have her eat one of these when she can when she's done with this. And if you guys wonder why I keep turning off off and on all the lights, is because I like to control them. Especially because if you control them and make sure that they go off, it really does help with like the bills and how expensive they are. So um, that's kind of why I control the lights and whatnot. Uh, so let's just see. Okay, she's close to being wanting to wake up. Okay, Jasper, I'm definitely going to wake you up, bud. I'll just have him go use the bathroom, and then he can go grab the cereal that he was supposed to eat before. This guy's hygiene's awful, so as soon as Isabel's done eating, I'm definitely going to wake him up and have Isabel give him a bath. Because he needs it, he's stinky. Poor Jasper, he's got to share the bedroom with him. But Griffin, uh, how long? Four more days, okay. So, Anna, I believe, is actually two days now. So, we can actually go ahead and make her a cake. Um, but I'll probably wait until she gets home from school today before I age her up. And then we'll also go into Cass, see what she looks like. Because I feel like when they get to the teenage age, you can really, really start to tell who they look like. If uh, she looks more like her mom or more, looks more like her dad. I think, obviously, by now we can tell she looks a lot more like Paolo. Um, but... I will be excited to see who she looks like as a teenager, and I will also give her a little bit of a makeover with um, some awesome hairstyles and just make her really, really cool looking. So that's going to be exciting for us. And who knows, Anna could be the next person we uh, pass it down to. I believe it's like kind of the oldest sim when um, Isabel is either an elder or dies, whatever comes first. <laughs> Which is like sad, but the way the challenge works, so yeah, that's fun. Okay, we'll just have him draw after he takes a shower. Um, actually, okay, let's have you draw now so that you don't go take a shower where your mom is doing that. Okay, we're going to have this guy wake up and we're going to have her give him a bath. Because he obviously, like I said before, needs a bath. Okay, and we're going to wake these guys up now. So wake up. We can go use the bathroom. And then just go ahead and grab a serving. Anna. I'll have you use the bathroom after Jesslyn. So let's go grab a serving right now. So excited for her to age up. I'm watch TV. Oh, finish extra credit. I think you can do extra credit as a teenager, so we'll keep that want of hers, that want and desire. She's tense from being unchallenged. The sim needs mental stimulation. Okay, good to know. Sorry that uh, you don't find this life too stimulating. I guess uh, monsters under the bed aren't that stimulating, <laughs> which is not surprising. A little surprising I don't know I thought that was a mailman for a minute um, actually person we probably uh, all these teenagers all over the place Darian Stucky this guy I do want to talk to soon Floyd Donovan I keep seeing him pass by our house but we'll wait 
we do have Jay Huntington the third lined up next for us so that's exciting okay well actually let's not have him do that right now let's have him take a shower and then I think I'm gonna have him go do the chat room because his social is a little bit low how's Griffin on food okay so we'll definitely I think we're gonna potty train him next and then we'll uh, feed him. It's gonna be nice because all the older kids will go to school and we'll just have Griffin by ourselves, which makes things so much more manageable. Like, seriously, so manageable. <laughs> so, I'll clean that up and you can go ahead and put this away. So, let's just have uh, Isabel go potty train him. No, don't go there. Potty train Griffin. Because I don't believe he's potty trained yet. Yeah, no, not yet. Not yet. Alright, Anna. You can use the bathroom. And mop the stuff up for me. Because <laughs> your mom's such a great person. <laughs> oh no. Dang it. Oh, we're just going to have to replace this. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Jeez, Jessalyn, you're taking forever to eat your food here. She's just like, la -de -de -da, la -de 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 -da. She's super hyper focused, which is great for her to go to school. Awesome sauce. She's gonna have her clean that up. No, it's time to go to school, actually. So just go ahead and go to school. Um, Jasper, you too. Anna, you go to school after you mop up those puddles. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for helping out. I appreciate it so, so much. I always talk like I'm Isabel, like I'm in first person Isabel, when really I'm not, but whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, she's just gonna mop. Okay, no, she's mopping up the second one. I was worried. I was like, she's walking out. She's just doing half the job. It's totally fine. Total, total, totally fine. Alright, I believe, yeah, she's in her second trimester now, third trimester in 16 hours. Great. Great. Alright guys, so I will be back as soon as they return from school, because it's probably going to be pretty boring, honestly, all the little different things that we'll be doing with uh, Griffin. Not too exciting. So I'll be back when they return for Anna's birthday. Alright guys, uh, the kids are back from school, which is awesome. Let me just see how they're doing. Okay, Anna definitely needs to take a shower. And as soon as Isabel is done with her lunch, then I will have her... <clears throat> excuse me. I'll have her bake the cake. Let me just have her sit and do homework. And Jasper, how are your needs? You're fine, so sit down. And also do your homework. How long until Jessalyn ages up, actually? It's just six more days, okay. It's a little bit more time than I anticipated, but that's fine. Look at a little Griffin here, he's taking a little nap because he, he's feeling a little tired. Okay, Jessalyn, what are you doing? Jessalyn, Jessalyn. No, I told you to sit over here and do your homework. Thank you, I appreciate you cooperating with me. And then as soon as Anna's done, I'll have her sit and do her homework while she waits for her mom to bake the cake. Which is gonna be awesome! Okay, would you actually eat your food? <laughs> like, please? Okay, so cook. Let's just do a chocolate cake. Okay, I just need you to finish eating, please. Thank you. Very, very much. Alright guys, um, oh my god. Why is everything breaking? I literally just got a bunch of money from her books and now I had to spend $400 worth of it. And I'm about to have another baby. Wonderful. 
just keeps reminding me that I really do need to finish that next book. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll be back as soon as she's done making this cake for Anna's birthday. Alright guys, the cake is done, so I'm going to have her add the candles to it. I'm actually going to move it over to the counter where we do our birthdays. I'm going to have her add the birthday candles. And then as soon as Anna's done with her homework, which I believe she's almost done, I will have her blow out the candles for her birthday. Yes, she is done with it. Fantastic. It is time for a birthday party, you guys. So exciting. Look at our little Anna growing all up so quickly. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so now we need to figure out what we want. Oh my gosh, I see the little preview of her and she looks absolutely nuts. Okay, so actually let's just, I think, I think, um, she's kind of more of a down-to-earth type person. So I'm going to go with the food for her, actually. Let's just go with the Master Chef. And then we'll make her creative. Oh my gosh. She's got, like, gray hair. <laughs> Look at this. Why does it end up with gray hair? I think it's because she had, like, a CC hairstyle, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to have her go plan her outfits now. Um, and then this little lady, actually let's have her go take a nap for now. And Jesslyn, you can just put this in the fridge for us. And Jasper, your social is so low. Okay, so, um, how about you go help you with this box? Teach shapes to go. But yeah, let's get to making over Anna.
Alright guys, we're back and Anna is all the way aged up. She looks so, so good. I absolutely love her outfit and her hair. It's kind of like a pinkish type of hair. I figured like she dyed it or whatever. Um, but yeah, she looks really, really good. What is this? Lock a door? Um, have you? No. Okay, so I'm actually just going to change out some of the stuff in their room now because she is a teenager. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that bed and just replace it with more of a teenager bed. A regular single bed that she can enjoy. I guess we'll just go with this red, well, let's go with one of these. I think this one's the best. Why won't it let me, won't let me go there. Why? Not quite sure why, what objects? Okay, hold on. Just gonna put the move objects on. There we go. So, so much better. And I think I'm just going to leave it that way for now. Um, but when Jesslyn ages up, then we'll kind of do a whole rehaul of this room. Maybe even get them a computer. Right now we can't afford that. So, it's there, you guys. But at least she has a teenager bed, which is good. Alright, she does have extra homework now. So, I think I'll have her sit down and go ahead and do that. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to have Jasper and Jesslyn play, uh, dolls together. Well, let me have him play dolls with Jesslyn. Jesslyn Mills. Okay, she's putting that away, and then they're going to play dolls. I'll just have him exit out as soon as she's done. And little Griffin's going good. I think, can he go potty by himself? Not yet. Dang it. Okay. We do have Anna now, I, who I believe can help us. Yes, she can. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so great having a teenager be able to help us with all sorts of different stuff. That feels kind of horrible, but it's just the reality of the situation. Look how cute they are playing together. So cute. They're my two kids right now. And I got my first teenager, Anna Anna, whose dad was Powell Rodriguez. Rodriguez? I don't know. Some some name like that. Actually, let's just see who these people oh, is that Don? It's Don. It's Jesslyn's dad. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're good without him. Pretty much. They've become good friends! Yay! That's so exciting. Alright, I'm actually going to have Isabel wake up. Just go ahead and go to the bathroom. And then potty train little Griffin over here. I don't think his light's on, actually. Which would help us in seeing the game. She's so super confident and like proud of herself. Oh my gosh, I really hope this like helps us not have any more problems with the monster under the bed. Crossing fingers now. Please, no more problems with monsters. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to have him stop and just go use the bathroom. He doesn't need to take a shower, but he does need some food. So I'm just going to have him get leftovers. How's Jesslyn doing on food? She's good, so actually let's have her, no, let's not do extra credit. Let's have you do your violin practice. Because you want to practice the violin, you little genius. Let's have him stop that. I do love the names that I picked for all of the kids, though. Um, I think they're really cool. I actually have, like, a list book that I have, um... Written down the names 
that I want to use. Not a hundred of them, but several. I will get to more, but you guys can leave name suggestions down in the comments down below. And if I do ma uh, match any of those name suggestions on my list, then I will definitely make sure to use them for you guys. Oh my gosh, no, what are you doing? Did he just, is he using his diaper? Ugh. Griffin, why buddy, why? No, okay, give Griffin a bubble bath. Oh, Anna finished her homework. Good job, girl. Okay, I'm going to have her go use the bathroom over here. And then I think she can eat something. So, get leftovers. And she can actually cook now, which is awesome, because that's the uh, want I gave her, is to become a master chef. So, that'll be uh, fun. And I'm sure I'll do something probably genius-like with Jesslyn. I'm not really sure what I want to do with Jasper yet. He's kind of more... I don't know. I might do something with, like, knowledge, maybe? Maybe knowledge is actually probably the one I want to use for Jesslyn. I might actually do something with nature for um, Jasper. And then, of course, Griff and I have absolutely no plan for yet. I don't even want to think about him aging up and into adult. Although, that does help move along our challenge, which is great. Okay, his social is really low. Still, his social is always so, so low. The poor kid. Is one of his things outgoing? No, it's not. That's so weird. Why are your social so low, buddy? Okay, actually, yeah, let's have you interact. Talk about school. Um... Has to feel baby and hug and we'll have Griffin Griffin's hungry so let's actually have him open this open let's go ahead and pull that out and you can grab a serving and then it'll probably be time for him to go to bed This is cute. This should help his social a lot. I might actually have him call his dad too because I generally did that with the girls. And so I think it'd be nice to do that with um, the other kids too. Okay, she's hungry now as well. So I'm gonna have her get leftovers. Oh, clean out spoiled food and then get leftovers. Oh, who's calling her? Powell would like to come over and hang out. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Last time you did that, you didn't leave. <laughs> he was literally here for like two days. No joke. Girl, you're supposed to eat that, but it's fine. Just clean it up. Um, she does need some fun, so let's have her play some games on her computer. Or we can have her like sit back down over here. And watch some TV. Because she does want to do that. How's Jasper doing? Pretty good. So actually I'm going to have him come over here and draw for a little bit. And I'll have her clean this stuff up. Is Anna planning on cleaning it up? Oh, Anna's cleaning it up. Never mind then. Okay, I think she's kind of hungry, so I'll have her just have dinner for herself. You can do a blackened bass. Hey, that's a <laughs> she's an incredible cook. How many more hours? Third trimester. Third trimester in four hours. We're so close, you guys. To two more children. Who knows, maybe three more if she has twins. You never know. <laughs> and then I think when Jesslyn is done, it'll be time for the kids to go to bed. Because it is almost 9 o'clock. Um, I actually probably will send Griffin to bed now. He's really tired. So we'll just have him go sleep. Put that up there. Oh my gosh, everything is breaking. <sighs> I hate this. 
Why does everything have to break on me? So annoying. Okay, Jesslyn, just clean that up. And then I'll have her clean. Oh, yeah. Clean that up. Mop that. And then sleep. Jasper, you're pretty tired, so we'll have you go sleep now, too, so we can turn your light off. Do, 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 do. Things are going smoothingly, guys. Turn off this room. Alright, she's so tired, so I'm gonna have her go to bed. <laughs> I guess they just acknowledge at this point that there's just a monster that lives under the bed. Because they, every time, want to, like, spray it. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Let's try that. Is she waiting for her sister to go to sleep before she goes to sleep? She's like, I can't have a child up later than me. Can she not sleep in this bed? Good job. Okay, because I'm going to turn off their room now. Hopefully there's no more problems with monsters. Crossing fingers, crossing fingers. But alright guys, I'll be back in the morning. Oh. Alright guys, like I did yesterday, I'm waking up Anna pretty early just to give her a head start on the morning. Um, I think it just helps a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and turn on all of these lights. I'm actually going to have her go ahead and make the breakfast for the kids. So we'll just have her serve breakfast. I think pancakes would be nice this morning. Let's just see how these guys are going. He's fine. He's fine. She's okay. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I'm broke now because of everything that's breaking. What the heck? You guys, this is horrible. <laughs> so bad. Alright, I'm going to have her wake up now. I'm actually going to have her mop this. And use the bathroom. I think that's just going to stay in her queue. Like forever until maybe I restart the game I don't know that's that's really annoying okay I'm gonna wake up Jesslyn have her use the bathroom she's actually good on shower because I had her take the bath in like the middle of the night so I will just have her get dressed rather than um, taking a shower How's little Griffin doing? Griffin's fine. Jasper's good. I'm actually gonna have him wake up now. He's kind of okay on hygiene. We'll just have him change out. Actually, let's not do that. Let's have you go here. And you... Do that. Little Griffin man, my main man. Yes! She reached 10, level 10. Good job, girl. She did it. That's awesome. Have her grab a serving. Okay, we'll wake up Griffin now. He's not really that hungry, so I'm going to let him sleep until his um, energy bar is full. Hopefully this doesn't make him go take a bath. <laughs> Can you eat the pancakes? How about that? You can go grab a serving because you're super hungry. Let's see, how many days left now? Five. Ten. Three. Okay, so one more day until Griffin's birthday. Awesome sauce. Oh, he's 
still has problems grabbing the food when it's there. I don't know why that's such a big problem. It won't let me move it. I don't know why. Is it because it's selected? Okay, just go here. And grab a serving. Don't take don't take a bath. I did not ask you to do that. <laughs> I'm just have her use the bathroom. And I'm gonna have her go work on her book. Anna What can Anna do? Okay, her fun is so low. I'm gonna have her go watch TV. Griffin is really close to being fine, so I'm actually gonna have him wake up and then just have him change. He's not hungry yet, so... He can't go potty yet. He's close. You can play Sim Shape. Just go clean that up. How about that? Oh, why did she walk into the bathroom? So silly. I don't know why they do that. Okay. I said watch TV. You are like super bored on fun. You need some TV, girl, before you go to school. Can she not watch TV? Why is this here? <laughs> She's like, give myself a pep talk. I'm actually gonna have you go play dolls with Jasper again. So just forget the food. Just forget about it. Let's just put it away for now. We can get it back out when Griffin is hungry. He's getting close, but not quite yet. I can't believe I had a thousand dollars yesterday and now I have a hundred and forty one. I mean, simoleons. That's what you call crazy. Off to school, you guys shall go. <laughs> why, why won't that go away? Okay, stop. 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 Goodbye. Go to school. I will miss you. Not really. Alright guys, we will be back when they are home from school or if An Anna, keep calling her Anna, or if Isabel goes into labor because that's going to happen soon. But yeah, we'll be back when they come from school or she goes into labor, whatever comes first. Alright guys, they're home from school and sadly no baby yet, but should be coming soon. And they are all like super, super stressed out. So I'm actually going to have her go play a game. We'll have her go play The Sims. And then she's tense because I think she's unchallenged. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to have her go sit and do her homework. And I'll probably have her do extra credit work today so that she does feel challenged. And he's tense from not working out. So I'm going to have him some exercises over here and then he can sit and do his homework but hopefully that helps de-stress all of them who are extremely stressed right now let's turn these lights on and I'll have her I'll have Isabel wake up soon and then she can make dinner for the for the crew for the fam cuz I think most of them are 
probably going to be pretty hungry after finishing up lunch. I mean, their homework. Why does she use a bold pickup line on someone? That's kind of right. We do need to kind of find a little romantic love for our little girl here, Anna. Although I don't know if I want to spend time on that. Because I need to spend more time on uh, Isabel here, finding men to work with. Oh, there's so many teens around, though. Seriously, so many teens. And, you know, it would be nice, in theory, to, like, hook um, Anna up with somebody who, like, she can move out with when she does turn into an adult. But, uh, I don't know. It just seems like a waste of time to me. <laughs> so we probably won't be doing that. <gasps> yes! She's gone into labor, guys! She's gone into labor. Alrighty. Let's have her use the bathroom. <laughs> her fun's really low, so I'll have her play some video games. Yeah, I know you're tired of walks. You sh you're just tired in general. You need to go to bed. <laughs> oh, I hope Jesslyn does not wake up. I do not need anyone waking up on me. Anymore. No more waking up. Turning off this light. We are close... You know what? I actually might just go ahead and buy a bassinet and then have her, like, give birth, like, right now. Because this episode is getting pretty long. Um, let's just go for the general neutral one, the green one. I think that's green. <laughs> I don't know if that's green or yellow. Might be green. Might be yellow. Whatever. It's general neutral. I think it's green. Have baby. Go have your baby. No need to have more, like, three more hours of this. <laughs> we're, we're inducing. <laughs> Isabel is having a baby! Yes! Boy or girl. Let me get my name book out here so we know what we can name the child. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. This is so much work. It's a boy! Alright, so my next boy name on the list is Axel. So that is what his name shall be. <gasps> I had twins! No way! Oh my gosh, you guys, I had twins! Yes! The next name on the list is Colt. So we'll go with Axel and Colt. That is so fantastic! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, you guys! We had twins! Yes, 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 yes! And we're about to adopt another one, so we're basically gonna have, like, triplets. This is crazy! Oh my gosh. Does she have, like, a bassinet that she is gonna show up? Where's the other baby at? Oh, in a pink one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna move Colt beside his brother. We'll just have him like that. Like that. Awesome! Alright, you guys. I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Thanks so much for watching. We have two new babies, Axel and Colt. And on the next episode, we're going to be adopting, like I said earlier. Um, so yeah. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!